Welcome to the State of the Ravens team where I talk about everything that's going on in the Ravens organization. Before I talk about that, man, I just want to say I'm very proud of the Ravens, man. We worked hard this season. We've been through a lot. I mean, we really have, and we had a great season. I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed just like all the Ravens fans around the world that we got eliminated by the New England Patriots. But at the end of the day, we are a great NFL franchise, and don't anybody ever forget that. But in this video, I'm going to talk about two things, and that's one, Justin Forsett wanted a commitment, and two, the top five must-sign free agents that the Ravens have to sign this year. I mean, we had a great season, like I said, man, and I definitely believe that the Ravens are going to be back in the postseason and create havoc just like we did and win the Super Bowl next year. We have the players around us. We just got to sign them. So, you know, number one guy that we have to sign is obviously, I believe, Justin Forsett. I mean, talk about a guy that I didn't even think that was going to make the team. And he did. And not only did he make the team, he prospered and became an elite running back in the process, man. Justin Forsett is everything that the Ravens represent. He's a hard worker and he's very, very talented, man. I mean, and he's, you know, modest and he's respectful. I mean, he is so grateful that to have the opportunity that he got from the Baltimore Ravens that he gave his offensive linemen all flat screen TV just to show his appreciation, man. We got to sign for a set. It's just a question of whether we have the money because of salary cap issues and whether, you know, how long the Ravens are willing to give him a deal because he's a kind of older running back. You know, we all know that, but he's very talented. He wants to stay. We want them as Raven fans and Raven players want him to stay. So it's pretty much expect him, you know, to really, you know, sign with the team, you know, I really want him to be back, and I know a lot of you do as well. Also, you know, we got to sign Torrey Smith. He's also a really great wide receiver. He's actually my favorite wideout in the National Football League, and, you know, Torrey Smith has been with us for a minute now. He's a really good receiver. He really had, you know, a good season towards the end. He definitely showed up, and, you know, he said that he definitely wants to re-sign with the team. He loves what he loves us, and he said that he wants to sign before he hits the free agency in March. So I expect the Ravens to definitely sign a tour. He's probably definitely not going anywhere. I mean, he's such a great player, and for us to lose Tory, that'd be big. But I doubt that's gonna happen, man. Tory Smith is a Baltimore Raven. He's pretty much gonna stay. And the other guy is Owen Daniels. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was very impressed with Owen Daniels, man because it's like we had Dallas Clark last year and I thought that he was you know gonna be the man because the way he played when he was in Indianapolis having Peyton Manning throwing the ball now I know Dallas Clark was a little older when he came to the Ravens but he really didn't do what he needed to do I mean he did the, his best I mean I respect that but you know he just really didn't perform well he dropped a lot of passes got injured and, you know he just wasn't the same player that you know Peyton Manning was throwing him the ball but Owen oh, Daniels I thought he was just gonna be just like another Dallas Clark so, you know, I didn't really expect much for him, but he definitely played well. I mean, we all know that Dennis Pitta went down for an injury another time. So, for the fact that the Owen Daniels played it well, he, he did and show up and do what he had to do, man. Owen Daniels, definitely, we really have to re-sign him. He's a really good backup, and he could possibly start in anywhere in the National Football League. But I definitely want Owen Daniels to stay in the Ravens organization because he played his butt off, man. 
Another guy we got to sign is Pernell McPhee. I mean, he really did well this year. I mean, he's been like a solid worker. You know, he's never the guy that you're going to see call his name a bunch of times by the announcers. But it's the work in the trenches that he does. And he made some plays this year along with, you know, Terrell Suggs, Elvis Dumerville, Daryl Smith, CJ Smoley. So, you know, he definitely wants to be a part of the Ravens organization is whether we actually have you know the money to sign them but I think we will man I mean honestly the Ravens have 31 people that they have to sign but I you know I think Pernell McPhee definitely earned it he's he's a true Ravens fan at heart and I would love to see him back in Baltimore next year and the next and final guy I think that has to be a part or the Ravens organization is Terrence Cody. You know, he's the nose tackle. He just creates so much havoc in the uh, trenches, man. You know, he's pretty good. I mean, you know, we have a lot of great defensive players because, you know, that's what the Ravens is all about, defensive football. And I think Terrence Cody, I would love to see him in purple and black another year. But you never know, man. Like I said before, man, we're a great NFL franchise. I would love to see we sign almost everybody, but we can't, honestly, because of Sally issues and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure Tory Smith Owen Daniels Justin Forsett Pernell McPhee and hopefully Ter um, Terrence Cody and everybody can stay a part of the team I want to thank you guys for watching the video so far and until next time you got in mind at all times I'm the black lion and I'm out